Radar implemented into a modern automobile improves driver comfort and safety. Electromagnetic energy is transmitted at a high enough power level so a return signal is sent by the receiver. Unlike conventional radar, typical range will not ever need to exceed 200 meters. This is done through specially adapted radar sensors located in the front of the vehicle. The received signal is used to calculate both range and velocity just as in conventional radar. The propagated waves are governed by the Maxwell Faraday equation which states that electrical currents that vary in time will create electrical and magnetic fields in free space that also vary in time. These fields will then induce electric currents in the material that they encounter. Adaptive cruise control systems gather data from special radar sensors that operate on this principle. Integrated sensors give the vehicle's ECU or electronic control unit a constant picture of the vehicle's surroundings. Adjustments are made to the engine speed, steering, and brakes accordingly without driver input. Range and velocity are found by analyzing the change in time and frequency pitch of a reflected signal, as in conventional radar, while resolution is increased by varying the frequency within a time period. This method is called frequency chirp. Another method to improve resolution is called digital beam forming. This uses complex algorithms and small antenna elements acting as transceivers to steer the beams along the azimuth and elevation. As the waves move rapidly beyond each side of an object, the strongest signal will show the object's location. A single 77 gigahertz sensor is centered in the front of the vehicle. This is used for long range detection up to 200 meters. Two sensors operating at 24 gigahertz are installed at the front corners of the vehicle. These are used for short range detection of 40 meters or less. I hope this was informative. Thank you.